Welcome friends. Today we are at my parents' house. Senor Coop and Senora Coop. Senior Coop Senior. Let me give you a history lesson. About two years ago, commercial gyms worldwide, at least in the US, shut down. My parents have worked out in their commercial gym as long as I can remember. My dad used to have a garage gym, but decided to start using a commercial gym. And they're like, Cooper, we need a gym. So I built them out a basic gym thinking they're like, we're only gonna use it till the gym's open back up, then we'll go back. Well, since they have not left the home gym, but their home gym kind of sucks. So <laughs> today we are going to coopify the gym. We brought some equipment, some flooring. We're going to give them an extreme makeover. Yes, it's kind of unfortunate their gym is in the basement, even though they have a three car garage, even though I am always talking about garage gyms, as you can see, my dad keeps all of his fishing stuff back there. But we've got pow 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 powerhouse here to help us move in equipment, and we're gonna set them up an epic home gym. Come with us. Let's do it. Okay, despite the garage being superior, they have decided to build a basement gym. They wanted it tucked away, hidden, which is unfortunate because this is gonna be pretty sick. But this is the gym in its current state. As you can see, it's pretty bare bones. There's a couple things I've taken out just ahead of time, but basic stuff. The one thing that is really nice, you may remember this from previous review, this was like, they're like, Cooper, if we could have anything, it would be a functional trainer. So I got them a functional trainer. This was like the one piece that was like really sick. In addition to that though, they've got this old Bowflex machine they never use. My mom is like, please get that out of here. And then they've got a rack. They, <laughs> this rack, the story behind this rack, they actually bought this rack. They're like, Hey Cooper, we bought this rack, can you help us set it up? And I'm like, I have so many freaking racks I could give you. Why did you buy one and why this one? So we're gonna upgrade it. We're gonna take this one out, upgrade it. Also, as you can see, they're working out on carpet. And my mom likes to do a lot of like hit workouts, so she's sweating. I'm sure it just soaks up with sweat. We are going to do full rubber matting from a company called Second Skin. Their stuff does not smell. It's really thick matting, really nice, and also many rolled matting. You can't just order online. This stuff you can. So we're gonna do full rolled matting throughout, and then we got a new rack we're putting in from PRX that folds down. It's actually a shorter rack, but then has a pull-up bar. It's kind of cool how it works. It's a bit unique. We'll put that here. We've also got a vertical leg press we're gonna put in, and quite a few other pieces. You'll just have to wait and see. So, Sam, let's get to work. Okay, so plan is we're gonna knock this wall out over here. No. Uh, I think we have enough flooring no. where we can go ahead and run the rubber mats down the hall. We are okay. only, we're not There's knocking any. a bedroom any. on the other side of this wall, Sir. so I think we can go ahead Sir. and do a cool sauna room over here. Don't touch the walls. You'll have to talk to Mama Mitchell if so. She won't be happy. I hear she can probably bench press me. And she's like 5'1". Of twisted steel. <laughs> yeah, good thing you didn't say sex appeal. Mm -hmm. Usually you say twisted <laughs> steel and sex appeal. I would've killed you. So what's your least favorite tattoo though? It's the one on my foot, the peace sign grenade. There are two things I've never seen you without. <laughs> shoes and a hat. <laughs> me, my bad, my me bad. Me walk out naked <laughs> with a hat and shoes on. <laughs> Do you guys out there, would you like to see reviews on Bowflex multi-stations? Let me know in the comments. Are you, so you're sure you can put that wall, that rack on the wall with the struts on there? I'm 99% sure. So this PRX rack, it's designed to go on the wall and store up. So it's really tight. If you've ever seen them, they're really cool. But I've installed many of these. They are not an easy install. We attach the wall like this. Okay. Right? Okay. And then... Uh, then how do we... We move the rack into the position and attach the shocks. Well, tell me, what do you mean by it? Because I think you're looking at it and you're realizing there's a problem. I am realizing And so that's why he's saying things like, you just do this and it happens. This isn't Emerald Lagasse. You don't say bam and everything gets fixed. Well, we'll find out. We're clear. Uh, so next we're gonna sweep the floor. We want a clean surface to put the double-sided tape down on. 
Uh, that's what's going to go underneath the rubber matting supplied to us from Second Skin. Do you look around at your home gym and go, man, this needs a second skin? Well, have I got the flooring for you? Second Skin. It's hard not what? <laughs> 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 when you're in coops or fudge. This is gonna look sick. We are now going to install the rack. The rack we're using is a PRX Profile Pro Series. The difference between this one and a lot of the ones you see is this one is designed for short ceilings. So it doesn't include a pull-up bar. It's just this but they come up with a solution that allows you to have a wall mount pull-up bar that fits on the outside of the uprights. So it kind of fits all in one, but you still have a dedicated, actually multi-grip pull-up bar, and then you have a standalone rack, but also folds out of the way. And then when it's in use, it's pretty stable. You basically want to put your flooring down first because this is three quarter inch flooring. You want to make sure this is going to fully hit the ground when it's in use and then fold up to the distance that you want. So we've got a scrap piece. We're gonna place it on, um, basically to install it. Really, and I've been talking to Sam about this, you don't, you're not supposed to put it together yet. You install the brackets on the wall first. We're gonna try and do this how they tell us not to do it. So uh, don't follow Sam's example, but he has assembled probably more gym equipment than anybody, so we're trusting him on it. There is not a better fold away system than PRX without a doubt. Like this rack is amazing. Now what I'll do, I'll put a link to the like button if you'd like to purchase, they will pay us a commission, doesn't increase the cost you pay. PRX also did send this free of charge, but if you wanna see my full review along with all the negatives, you can see that one. But for this one, um, I'm just being honest, I, I really like the system. One thing I will say on this, you'll see there's some extra connections in the middle. That's an extra kit before you do that, Sam. Called the stabilizer kit. It basically helps stabilize the single upright. If you don't have that, it still works, um, but it's vastly better with stabilizer kit. Otherwise, there's some side to side wobble. So this is just your standard double-sided carpet tape. This you can get any hardware store and it works very well for holding down mats. What felt like 20 days was just a mere 10 hours or so. We are now done. And we are gonna show you my parents' new basement gym. Through. As you can see, there's been a lot that's changed. There's a lot more equipment in here. Let's start with the flooring, the base. They had <laughs> crappy carpet down. They were sweating on it. Carpet is not fun. This is three quarter inch rolled rubber flooring from a company called Second Skin. We'll put a link below the like button. They actually sent this for the install, so thank you Second Skin. It's a good thick height that provides some cushion too. Um, and also just makes the gym feel more like a gym. Going just from the carpet to this, I think was pretty freaking dramatic. Now it looks and feels like a real gym, just like you'd find in any commercial gym. Let's start over here, because this is kind of the pinnacle of the entire gym. This is a PRX. This is their short rack, so these are 70 inch or so uprights with their pull-up bar installed. I like the ones that have the pull-up bar built in, but this is a basement, it's not tall enough to fit us something like this. So now they can have a dedicated multi-grip pull-up bar along with a squat rack, ready to go whenever they want to use it. Pull it down, each individually. This also has the rigidity pack that increases the stability. And then when you want to put it up, get it out of the way, 
you do like that. It's assisted using shocks. Very nice uprights. One inch holes are gonna accept all your modern attachments. Three by three, um, 11 gauge steel. Just a really, uh, it also looks really cool. This is just a standard incline bench. This is actually one they already had. I forgot they had one. <laughs> I need to give them a new one because this one, eh, it's just okay. Back over here, my dad has had back surgery in the past. He actually used to be a power lifter. Uh, he'll tell you this ad nauseum, and I'll go ahead and tell you too, but he has squatted 750 at 220. Anytime I talk about any of my numbers, he's like, yeah, but look at this. So, uh, but he had back surgery, so he can't even squat anymore. So is the strongest person the person who squats the longest or the person who squats the heaviest? It's a good question. I don't know. We'll see how long I can squat for. But, he can't really squat, so he's trying to load his legs in different ways. I've got a little belt squat attachment from Fringe Sport. I'm actually gonna give them later, but they also now have a leg press that they can use as a vertical leg press. Stays out of the way, doesn't take up a lot of space, but will allow him to hit legs without, you know, really hurting his lower back. Another plate loaded piece over here, and this is from same company, Titan. This is a Titan leg extension leg curl. This is actually one that used to be in my videographer's garage, Nathan. But he doesn't use it anymore because he stole my isolator. So now we have this one. Um, this is plate loaded. Again, you can use it. We've done a full review on this, but you can use it for leg extensions or leg curls. It works just like you'd expect. It's just plate loaded. Um, so that's sitting there. Nice exercise bike here. Trap bar, again, my dad doesn't do a lot of straight bar deadlifts, but in order to get some more focus on the lower body, he will do trap bar deadlifts. Uh, PRX flat bench, they like to do dumbbell work, so this just allows them to have a dumbbell station that they can pull out, use it, and then put it back. Roman Hyper, again, just trying to think of things that can help my dad's lower back. This was here already. I'd already given this to them. They're Frey Fitness Functional Trainer, 200 pound stacks, two to one ratio, kind of like a mini life fitness functional trainer, works really well, also has multi-grip pull-up bar on it, and it barely fit in the space. I'm actually really happy with how this fit in. Fits right here, kind of sucked to move it to put the flooring in, but once it was done, I think it looks good. Then we have some adjustable dumbbells. You can't have a home gym without adjustable dumbbells. So they have two sets of power blocks, both a really, these guys are so, look how cute these are. These go up to 24 pounds. Man, they're just so cute. They go down to six pounds. And then these guys, that go up to 50. But really, what my mom used most of the time are these fixed dumbbells. The reason they have the screen here is she does a lot of classes. So she'll follow a lot of classes on YouTube. Um, and so she uses fixed dumbbells a lot of times. So those are there, they go up to 30 pounds. There's a few others spread out here. If you ever use rubber flooring, you're gonna put carpet tape down. That's a good way to keep it down, but because it's been rolled, it takes a little bit to settle. One way to help that is just put weight on it and just wait for it to relax. Then this is an MX80 selectorized bar. So basically there's a, a straight bar here. There's a selectorized barbell that's adjustable. You can basically change it. It goes up to 80 pounds. Um, and then if you wanna switch it out for the curling bar, so if you wanna do an easy curl, you can switch that out very easily. Uh, two step of platforms, small kettlebell, just some basic attachments. And then this plate stand. We got them some more plates, but they need more change plates. So we got them some change plates on the stand with a place where they can now store their barbell. And that is the gym. Not like, honestly, this is a pretty simple setup. Honestly, the most expensive things are this functional trainer, which when I got that, it was much cheaper, I think around 1200 bucks or so. And then this guy, this guy can be somewhat pricey. It's made in the USA and then the flooring. But the other equipment, like it's not like, this, a lot of this stuff is more budget oriented or somewhat value based, but there's a lot that you can get done here. Everything from cables to, you know, barbell lifts, also some machines and exercise bikes. My parents like to run a lot or bike, so that's actually what my dad's doing right now. Um, but a lot that you can do in this small space. So, mom and dad, thank you for birthing me and putting up with me as a kid. Now you have all this. Wow, what a son. Okay, this has been Coop from Garage Room Reviews. If you like the gym tour type stuff, if you like the builds, let us know in the comments because we'll do more. Um, hopefully not as long of ones as today was, <laughs> but we'd like to do them as well. Let us know in the comments. I'll see you next time. Peace.